Hello everyone and welcome to week thir 13 of English 120. This week we're going to continue to work on our research project. You'll be reading The Valley of the Moon by Jack London and you'll be doing some library research. For Valley of the Moon, um, continue reading in book two. I'd like you to read chapters 10 through 19. Um, it's a pretty important part of the book um, where Saxon is going to finally um, have a vision and figure out um, that there's more to the world than Oakland. Um, for your um, discussion forum, it'll actually be a fun discussion forum. You're going to learn how to cite just about anything, and I will challenge you to find the most creative thing to cite. And whoever finds the most creative thing to cite will get extra credit points, so um, think about that. Um, your journal 13 will be the um, um, study the you know uh, study questions for um, Valley of the Moon and um, you'll be working on your annotated bibliography and it'll be due the day after this week ends um, and your final cough class is due at the end of this week MLA document format proficiency which you will be using this week so this week as I mentioned um, you're going to be working on your annotated bibliography um, it is due um, the day after this week ends. Um, then we'll start working on our draft, which won't be due until uh, week 15. So your annotated bibliography assignment, um, for this assignment, you'll need at least four academic sources. Um, the final annotated bibliography should be approximately three to four pages long. You should think about one page, approximately one page per annotation. Um, for this assignment, you're going to be compiling an annotated bibliography of at least four sources that are related to the topic you've chosen to write your research paper on. An annotated bibliography is a list of citations to books, articles, and other resources. Each citation is followed by a brief descriptive and evaluative paragraph, the annotation. The purpose of the annotation is to inform the reader of the relevance, accuracy, and quality of the sources cited. So the process you're going to go through is you're going to identify four sources you feel are relevant to your research topic. And you're going to make sure that these are academic sources, meaning you aren't going to use um, a Wikipedia page that you found. You are going to find articles um, through the research databases or books through our library that you can use as sources for your topic. You're going to cite each, um, each uh, source. First, you're going to um, provide an MLA formatted um, citation for each source. And then um, beyond that, you're going to um, write a concise one to two paragraph annotation that summarizes the central theme and scope of your source. And it should include an evaluation of the authority, background, and education of the author. Um, who is it that wrote this source? And why should we look to them as an authority on this topic? Um, who is the intended audience? Um, what school level, what skill level do you think that the reader should be at? Um, compare and contrast this work with others that you've cited and discuss how this work explains your selected talk, topic. What perspective on your topic does this work provide? So I'm going to go through exactly what I want you to do for each source that you're going to use in your annotated bibliography. Um, the first thing so you'll, you'll go through one source completely and then go to the next source. So each, for each source, you're going to provide a sample annotation. And if you see chapter 21, pages 337 through 356, um, there is um, a lot of information on how to properly cite a citation. There's also information in this week's comp class. So for an article, for example, um, you put the last name, first name, Mundy, comma, Lisa, period. The title of the article, Souls on Ice, period, in quotations. The title of the, the um, magazine where, where, this, um, where this article is found, and this was found in Mother Jones. The issue it was found in, this was found in the July-August issue, and the year it was published was 2006, colon, and the pages where this article can be found, 39 through 45, period. All of this, um, all these periods and um, quotation marks and italics, you need to make sure you do everything that you're supposed to do. 
So for a, a book citation, um, it's a little bit different. Um, and just, just a note, um, you are not allowed to use the Valley of the Moon as one of your four citations, um, your, your four annotations. Um, it is an assumed source for this paper, meaning it, you can use it in your final paper, but you cannot use it in your annotated bibliography. You need four additional sources beyond the Valley of the Moon. But if you were to cite it, um, the way you cite a book is you put the last name of the author, London, and the first name, Jack, period. Then the title of the book, The Valley of the Moon, um, is italicized with a period at the end. Then the place of publication, Berkeley, comma, California, colon, um, the publisher, University of California Press, period, and the year it was published, 1999, period. This is, a, in, this is a book in print format, so I've included the word print, period. If it was an ebook, I would put ebook. All right, here's a sample summary of an annotation. So for each, um, each source that you're looking at, you're going to provide, first you're going to provide an, uh, a citation, next you're going to um, provide a summary, next you're going to provide an evaluation, and next you're going to provide a response for each one that you're going to be doing. So after you've done your citation, you're going to provide a summary. Um, this summary, um, in, this, in this summary, the writer has written an objective, obje um, accurate summary of the article that focuses on the publication, that's what's in blue, um, the writer, that's what's in green, the audience, that's what's in red, and the writer's thesis and on the most relevant key points the writer makes. You'll see those are pulled out in bullet form here. So go through and read this and make sure you understand. I'm looking for you to be able to write an objective, accurate summary. That means not your opinion, just the facts. What is this article or um, book about? Um, that focuses, um, then I want you to focus on the publication. When was this published? Where was it published? Um, who the writer is? Um, does she have any background in this topic, or um, where does she work, and what makes her an authority? Um, and the writer's thesis and most relevant key points. What are the main things being said in this article? Then I'd like you to write an evaluation. Um, in an evaluation, the writer explains why she, she has chosen the article, um, including why she finds it to be reliable. Why is it a reliable source? Evaluations can discuss the reliability, the relevance, um, the currency, the logic, the style, and more. Evaluations don't have to be 100% positive. You can find a source and not like it, but they should show that the source has enough strengths to make it worthwhile for others to read and use. The next thing I'd like you to write is a response. Um, this is where um, you get to talk about how the, the source, um, your own opinions how the source affected the writer's opinion. So you're going to write a response to the source after you've done a um, citation, a summary, an evaluation, then you get to write your response. Um, um, you're going to clearly state your opinion, how you feel it works into your study, and what you'll do with it. All right. So that's exactly how I want you to lay out your um, uh, your annotated bibliography and you can label each section. Um, that will be due a day after this week is over. Uh, but in the meantime, I'd like you to practice MLA citation. So for our discussion forum this week, I'd like you to find something original to cite in MLA format. Um, in this video, that's actually part of this week's content too under um, on comp class, um, Professor Reif explains how she cites a cereal box by adapting MLA format. So as Professor Reif states in her video, using the basic principles of MLA citation, you can cite just about anything in MLA format as long as you think creatively about how to cite it. This week, find an object, document, or other thing besides a book, article, movie, or web page to cite. And please note that the most creative posts will get extra credit. Um, in your discussion forum post, Cite your thing in MLA format. Then explain how you chose your thing to cite and the process you went through to cite it. So use pages 337 to 356 in chapter 21 of the Bedford Researcher for details on how to cite your source. 
You'll see listed here a variety of types of things to cite from books to unsigned newspaper articles to maps to lectures to musical compositions to blogs to online film clips. Find the one that is closest to the thing you're citing and use this entry as a model. And you want to make sure you let us know which one that you're using as your model. Then I want you to respond to your peers' posts. You must post your initial post by Saturday at 11.59 p.m. for full credit. All right, and this week um, you'll be doing your active reading journal as usual. Um, this week you're going to um, uh, be reading about um, you know, a lot of dramatic things that have happened to Saxon and Billy. Um, it's really going to get to the point of why are, you know, getting ready to leave Oakland. Um, and at, during these, um, during this part of the book, um, Saxon, um, uh, Saxon does have this, um, this vision of, um, of getting out of, um, you know, what, what she and Billy need to do in order to survive. So make sure you pay attention to when she meets the boy Jack and um, uh, what he tells her, okay? All right, and for comp class this week, um, MLA document format um, proficiency is what you're gonna be completing. Um, that's it for this week. Next week, we're gonna be moving on to actually drafting your paper, um, and you'll be reading the end of book two and beginning book three of The Valley of the Moon, and that's it, so please, uh, let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to seeing you guys online.